Hey guys, tonight I'm going to show you how to do some weeknight smoked lamb chops, Uncle Steve's shake seasoning with some broccoli on the side. It's going to be delicious. Hey guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. My name is Todd. Sassy's next door, chilling out in front of the TV. Babe, say hi. So like I was saying, lamb chops, guys, there's nothing better. Rack of lamb, it's so tasty, tender, and delicious. You know, I could almost eat it every night of the week. Guys, before we get any further, do us a favor, support the channel by hitting that subscribe button, turning on your notifications so you don't miss a thing, guys. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you anything. All right, guys, so what we got here is some Costco from Australia rack of lamb roast. It's about a pound and a half, 1.65 or something like that. Just right for two people for a quick weeknight dinner. And in case you're wondering, it's Tuesday night. I just got home. And with the help of a Traeger pellet grill, we're going to get this done fast, but the right way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some ordinary plain breadcrumbs. I'm going to season them up a little bit with some Uncle Steve's Shake Gator Shake, which is one of our favorites, and some bruschetta. Give it a little bit of crust. Now, in order to uh, get that seasoning and breadcrumbs to stick, we're gonna take some spicy mustard and paint those ribs on both sides. Then we're gonna dredge them in the mixture and then put them on that smoker for eh, at least an hour and a half at a low temperature, probably around 225 or so. Probably not gonna get a whole lot of smoke penetration, but definitely want long enough to get it nice and tender. Then toward the end, I'm gonna crank it to high and get any kind of like sear toward the end that I can, kind of crisp it up a little bit. And then we're gonna serve it, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. All right, guys, here's the uh, rack lamb uh, out of the package. Not bad. Uh, I'm gonna be keeping this uh, little fat cap here. You know, it's gonna be on the smoker for a while, so I'm really gonna use that to help kind of help protect it. Um, obviously, I'm not taking no membrane off or anything like that. Doesn't need it. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna set this aside and, um, and work on the dredge. So I got here about a cup of just regular plain breadcrumbs. Nothing special about this, guys. You can use leftover, doesn't matter here. But uh, what I wanna do here, of course, I'm gonna take the Uncle Steve shake, gator shake, because I love the citrus notes that it has and it's just a really tasty shake here. And, you know, I'm going to kind of eyeball it, but probably going to put about four or five tablespoons. You know, I love that color, and I really love the seasonings and the spices that are in there. So I'm, I'm going to go with uh, four tablespoons um, and then a little bit of bruschetta, and I'm just going to eyeball that. About like that, just enough to give it some texture, guys. So it doesn't need a lot. And then I'm just gonna kinda shake it up here, so. There you go. Okay, so it, uh, everything kinda emulsifies or whatnot and uh, gets nicely evenly distributed here. I'm gonna set this aside. Uh, my next step is going to be the mustard. Okay, so I'm gonna Get that on there. Pretty simple, right? All right, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, lay down the dredge. All right. Now, right away, guys. I can see that it's got just nice color. Um, the smell is great. I can smell those citrus tones. Uh, I can smell some of those Italian seasonings a little bit, but it's not overpowering. And I'm just gonna dredge it right in there, guys. There we go. Just get it in there. Okay. Now, in case you guys are wondering, I got this recipe off a of Traeger website. Um, I modified it a little bit obviously, uh, with Uncle Steve's shake, because it's our favorite, and uh, the bruschetta, okay. Um, this is a weeknight dinner, you know, and uh, 
we're just going to go what we got sitting on the kitchen counter, which is perfectly fine. Use your favorite rubs, guys. So let's go outside and get that trigger ready. All right, guys. So I got the Traeger full of some uh, mixture of Pit Boss pellets, which I found are uh, pretty nice in my area. And, uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in here, meat side up, just like that. Close it down, and that's it. All right, so that temperature's coming up right where I need it to be. Now I got it set for 225, uh, but my Traeger, you know, it bounces around, okay? So it goes, uh, you know, 250, 220, you know, somewhere around there. Um, uh, I'm gonna upgrade one of these days to uh, something. Um, sponsors, if you guys are listening, hey, hit me up. Uh, maybe we'll feature your smoker, uh, your pellet smoker one of these days. Okay, guys, let's uh, take a look at these. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Those have been in there for at least two hours, guys, so I'm cranking this up to high. I'm hoping to get 450. Um, we'll see what it actually does. Uh, good thing I got the tell truth for the truth. And uh, let's do it, man. We're on, on the home stretch. guys here we are hey uh even though it's lamb guys you should wrap right after you take it off the grill or the smoker uh for at least 10 minutes you know smaller pieces uh 10 minutes is good but guys just do it just trust me all right you guys are going to get the first look at these things look at that guys what do you think baby oh wow what Ooh. I'm going to cut it right down the middle to show you guys. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Okay, again, we used uh, standard breadcrumbs, plain, with about, uh, about a cup. And then I used about four tablespoons of Gator Shake from Uncle Steve's Shake. And some bruschetta, just kind of throw in uh, some texture there. Came out really awesome. So I thought I saw that, babe. <laughs> so let's. Uh, That's good stuff. Let me see here. It looks like the bone's kind of going that way. So I'm gonna put down this way. I hope I don't butcher it too badly. What's that right there? Oh, let's see. I don't want to cut right there. We go. Mm. All right. Well, now I finished it off to 155. So it definitely got cooked, guys. Great, babe. Look at that. That's great, babe. I really like how that breading kind of stuck to it. Uh, very. All right, guys. So what we got here is some uh, lightly blanched uh, fresh broccoli. And of course, we've got the old parquet, guys. Hey, let's go easy, right? There we go. What? I don't know about you guys. At least excuse me. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like buttery veggies, okay? And then for the uh, topper, babe, there we go, a little Parmesan cheese. And there we go, guys. Look at that. Looks good. All right, guys, so before I get to that lamb, um, this is for Tim Jonick, shipmate. Shipmate from, geez, 30 years ago in the Navy. He's been saying uh, on my Facebook page uh, that uh, maybe I should eat more um, 
veggies or includes the veggies in the pictures or whatnot. But uh, okay, this is for you. Mm. Parquet spread and Parmesan cheese, winner. And um, now, and also my sister-in-law, Annette, congratulations on a milestone with your personal diet um, goals and stuff like that. We're really proud of you. Um, yeah, nice. And just for you, we're going to start including more vegetables in our videos and recipes. So, um, okay, here we go. Here's the lamb I'm going to have. Mm. Is it pink in the middle? Mm. Slightly pink. I took it off about 155, almost 160. It was on the smoker for pretty much two hours, guys. So, I may not have that pinkness inside, but it is good. That uh, breadcrumbs with the Uncle Steve's shake and bruschetta in there, that's a winner, guys. Uh, and using a uh, spicy mustard as a binder, double whammy, guys. Uh. It just tastes so good, guys. Mm. So, guys, really appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you could, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment down below what you think of our recipes, any suggestions for future ones. And uh, we'll see you later.